Good day, learners! In the previous lesson, you have learned that in a circuit, electric current flows through a single path, so when one bulb is loosened or busted, all the other bulbs in the circuit will not light anymore. The loosened or busted bulb breaks or opens the pathway, so electricity cannot flow through. A parallel circuit, on the other hand, has light bulbs with different loops. Thus, each bulb is a part of a different circuit. When one bulb is loosened, taken, or burnt out, the other bulbs still light up. This is because each bulb has its own pathway. This time, you will learn about electromagnetism. Look at the illustration carefully. This is a simple electromagnet. It has battery, iron nail, wire, and coiled wire. Electromagnetism is a study of electromagnetic force. Electricity and magnets are closely related to each other. Electricity can produce magnets while magnets can produce electricity. A magnet is usually made of iron. It can attract objects such as pins, coins, and other materials made of iron and steel. A nail iron is not a magnet, but it can be turned into one. This is done by coiling a wire around it and then letting electricity flow through it. Doing this turns the nail into an electromagnet. An electromagnet attracts like a real magnet. It can attract materials made of metals like pins and tap tacks. The iron nail acts as a magnet while electricity is flowing through the coil of wire. Now, when electricity stops flowing through the coil to the nail, can the nail still attract the pin and the thumb tacks? No, it can no longer attract the pin and the thumb tacks. Electromagnets are temporary magnets. When electricity stops flowing through the coil of wires, the nail stops attracting any metal or magnetic material. An electromagnet can be made stronger by using more coils of wire. Each turn of the wire adds more force to the electromagnet. The number of dry cells also affects the strength of electromagnet. More dry cells mean more electrons flowing in the electromagnet and, therefore, stronger magnetism is produced. Magnets in different industries and businesses are usually used in electromagnet power devices such as cranes, cutters, fax machines, computers, and others. Powerful cranes use electromagnets to move scrap, iron and steel, or separate metals for recycling. Generators in power plants rely on magnets, like the ones found in electric motors, to produce electricity. Transformers, devices that use electromagnets to change high-voltage electricity to low-voltage electricity or vice versa, are often used at homes and in offices. Some transportation systems use magnets too. Trains, subways, trolleys, and monorails are examples of this.
scientists and engineers have even developed maglev trains which use electromagnets to float above the tracks. This then eliminates friction which helps the trains run faster than ordinary trains. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye!